Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Planning attack against mobile target is dynamic and highly time critical. As the time duration available for targeting is extremely small, it is therefore essential to drastically reduce the sensor to shoot time through improved situational awareness along the frontiers and in insurgent afflicted regions. The need of R is to provide real-time intelligence inputs to decision makers, intelligence, surveillance, targeting and reconnaissance. I star system provides such dynamic time critical capability and contributes significantly to meet nation's security goals. I star system links several battlefield functions together to assist a combat force in employing its sensor and managing the information they gather. The information gathered using high performance sensors in addition to the deployed human resources. The I-STAR systems are used worldwide including Sentinel Aster of UK, J-STARS of USA, Shadow R1 of UK, ISR MMA of Israel, etc. The I-STAR acts as an element in network-centric warfare as AVOX provides air-to-air -air and air-to-sea surface surveillance, the I-STAR complement AVOX role by providing air-to-ground surveillance to aid in precision strikes. The Indian I-STAR is going to be a cutting-edge technology in support of precision strike. The program has gained momentum post the aftermath of Balakot airstrike by India on Pakistan. The I-STAR can intercept enemy signals and instruct ground commanders which weapon to be used for counter-offensive strike and exact time of launch of weapon for high precision kill. The aircraft maintains a two-way feed with all reconnaissance platforms which includes satellite, aircraft, UAVs, helicopters and army ground reconnaissance vehicles. It can also direct these RIS platforms to change their position for better results. It performs all these activities automatically without manual intervention. The role of ISTAR system will be from carrying out intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance and targeting by day and night from standoff ranges. The ISTAR system will be operated at high altitudes from large standoff ranges and will be used for intelligence processing exploitation and disseminations and generation of common operating picture. The ISTAR aircraft will be simultaneously networked with airborne network, ground-based network and command and control network. It will be a system of systems that comprise airborne and ground segments. The airborne segment comprises of a mission system such as AESA-based synthetic aperture radar, ground-moving target indicator, intelligence gathering using electronic intelligence and communication intelligence, electro-optical IR imagery sensors, communication data links in wide line of sight, beyond line of sight and very high and ultra high frequency links and self-protection suite. The development of Indian I-STARS radar, electronic intelligence, communications intelligence and other sensor has already begun by DRDO's Center of Airborne System CAPS. The team has rich experience in developing NETRA AWNC Airborne System which has been now split into two expanded teams for ISTAR and for NETRA Mark II program. Last year in October, the Indian Air Force Chief has confirmed that ISTAR program has progressed through the DTTI initiative with United States. The DTTI, as we know, is a defense technology and trade initiative between US and India which helps to eliminate the bureaucratic obstacles, accelerate timelines, promote collaborative technology exchange, strengthens cooperative research and enables co-production, co-development of defense system for sustainment and modernization of military forces. It will be based on Bombardier Global Express Business Jet Platform. In next one to two years, a separate procurement of four jets will commence as the program matures. DRDO has planned to develop three I-STAR for Air Force and one for NTRO. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.